Okay, we have here today another integral from the University Math Society. This was problem 13. We had the integral of square root of x squared plus 1 minus square root of x squared minus 1 over the square root of x to the fourth minus 1 dx. Okay, it's an interesting problem here where we've got this real similarity with everything squared or to the fourth. I thought of maybe splitting it into two integrals. That would probably be okay, but what I really want to do first is just notice that x to the fourth minus 1, we could look at that as a difference of two squares. And then what we could do is we could rewrite that as x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. But the nice thing about that is x squared plus 1 is what we have here, and x squared minus 1 is what we have there. So if we do this, it seems like we're going to get some good simplification. So now I will split this into two integrals. We'll split it on the minus sign, so we'll have x squared plus 1 in the numerator here. And then we'll write this, I'm going to split this into two radicals like square root of x squared plus 1, square root of x squared minus 1. And then we'll do basically the same thing here, just subtracting. So here we'll have square root of x squared minus 1, and we'll have this same denominator. But then by doing that, we get some nice cancellation, because this is going to cancel here, just have a 1 in the numerator, and then this is going to cancel here. And then now in this form, these are actually just well-known integrals. I could use a formula on this, but I think I'm actually going to do the substitution out for this first one, I'm going to substitute for x. I'm going to substitute x equals cosh of u. And then our dx value is going to be cinch u. And then something really similar over here. For x, I'm going to substitute, we use a different variable, we'll say cinch of v. And then our dx is going to be cosh v dv. So then we'll make this substitution. So our dx over here, this is going to give me cinch of u du sorry i forgot the du over here and then here in the denominator we end up with cosh squared u minus one then really similar over here we're going to have cosh v dv and then the square root this thing which is going to be cinch squared v plus one now to simplify this what i'm going to do we're going to use an identity that's really handy for hyperbolic trig functions we're going to use cosh squared x minus cinch squared x equals one. Well then I can rearrange this. If I just add cinch squared on both sides, we end up with cinch squared x plus one equals cosh squared x. And then from this one, I could just subtract the one on both sides here like this. And we see that we have an identity cinch squared x equals cosh squared x minus one. But then we can use this for this one in order to reduce this to cosh squared. So using this here, we get, this is gonna become cinch squared of u, and then using this one, we can write this as cosh squared of v, but we're inside the square root, so if we take the square root of cosh squared of v, we get cosh v, and we're over cosh v, so this is gonna just cancel all the way down to one. The same thing is gonna happen over here, because we're inside the square root, this is gonna become just cinch over cinch, so this is one. So when we integrate here, we integrate one, we just get u, and we integrate here, we get v, but for our values of u and v, we have this in our definition, so we said x equals cosh of u, so then u is gonna be inverse cosh of x. And then for our v, same thing, we're gonna have, this is gonna become inverse cinch of x. And so we'll just put a plus c on there, and that's it. Okay, good problem, we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.